And whatever you do, know who you are. If you know who you are, it will help you to decide, to discern, to develop, and to be able to defeat any other voices. Know who you are in Christ. Know your value. Know that you are a very important person. No matter where you are coming from, where you are, and what you are going through, no one thing that you are very important. Know who you are. Who are you? You need to be able to answer that question. I know who I am. And in life, what gives joy and peace is knowing your purpose. You are created for a purpose. The one who created you knows you and had you in mind. You are not living. You are created. Don't survive. You need to live for a purpose. What is your mission? What is your purpose? And when you discover your purpose, it will give you peace of mind. It helps you to have power. It helps you to be able to progress and to be able to plan because you know who you are. Do you know who you are? Say, I am. I am who God say I am. Hi, how are you? What a joy and a <laughs> blessing meeting a great and a wonderful person. You are blessed. You are such an amazing and a great person. And I'm honored talking to you. My name is Shavi Hamulenkia, the author of the book Secret for the Single, a great book on relationship. I pray that you get this book. It will help you. The other book that I've written, uh, You Have a Bright Future, Do Not Give Up, How to Remain Fearless, Focused, and Fruitful. My joy is to see you fruitful. I want to see you successful in everything that you do. The other book is Men Are Crying, Women Are Weeping, How to Build a Happy and a Healthy Marriage. Uh, so we have this book, Secret for the Singles, a Secret of Successful Teen and Youth. My precious child, listen, learn, and live. Great books. I want you to get these books. I know they will help you. They will build you. Uh, God has given me a revelation. And whatever God has given me, I want to use it for his glory honor. You know, I have known my purpose. I'm here to bless, to build, to encourage. I want you to bear fruit. And when God gives me a message, I want to share it because I believe it's a message that will be able to help you. Today we'll be talking about know who you are. I am. I am. That is something that you need to wake up with. I am what God say I am. I am who God say I am. That's something that you need to know. It does not matter the thing you have gone through. Our past does not define us. Yeah, we may have gone through different situations and, and I always keep saying that uh, what you are going through may be hard, tough, but God is uh, using that situation to prepare you for something great. God can use that situation to purify you, and God can use that situation to plan something great for you. Yes, so you need God is using God to purify you. Uh, also, is using that to prepare you for something great. And also, God can use that position, that whatever you're going through, to position you. He wants to put you in a great in a position. So, that's something that you need to know. And I say, when you know who you are, say, I am. I know who I am in Christ. I know who created me. I know who is with me. I know who is working with me. I know who is leading me. I know who loves me. I know who. I am. I know. When you know who you are, it helps you to decide. You know, life is about decision. You decide according to who, the knowledge you have. The knowledge will help you to discern, to decide, and to defeat other things. So when you know who you are, that's something very, very important that you need to know. Remember, the world will give you wrong identity. The world will tell you who you are not. The world will judge you harshly. Let me say that. The world will judge you harshly and they will tell you what you are not. They will judge you according to your past, according to your 
you don't, you, where you are coming from, even your tribe. But God knows your value. And that's the reason you need to know. So the world seeks to stop you. They want to stop your progress. You are doing something, but they also they want to confuse you. But you need to know who you are. And that will help you to be at peace. To stand firm. It helps you to start and also to be able to succeed in what you do. So you need to know who you are. And that will be a great thing. Know who you are. I know who I am. I know I'm blessed. I know I'm chosen. I know I, I, I am highly favored. You need to know that. Don't forget who you are. Because if you forget, they, you believe the wrong message. And when you believe the wrong message, and you regret. And one thing that you need to, that will help you, is connect with your maker. Connect with God. The one who created you knows you better than the people you are meeting, the people, you, the people who are talking to you. God knows your value. That the reason when you connect with him, he's going to speak to you. And you see, when God speaks, that the reason why you need to learn to listen to him, when God speaks, he speaks, he knows what you need to hear. He knows the message. He knows where you are coming from, where you are and where you are going. He knows. So that the reason you need to love listening to your maker. Because he's the one who will show you the way he will speak to you and show you the way and he will encourage you he will strengthen you when god speaks that's why you need to listen to him and when he speaks he will tell you the truth so you need to connect with your maker and one thing that you need to thank him thank god for who you are and trust him trust what god said you are, I am blessed. And also, you need to learn to treasure the plan that God has for you. Treasure what God has for you. And that will help you. The world will, me, uh, will mislead you. But you need the word of God. You need the word of God. And the word of God will be able to help you. Be a friend of the word of God. Love it. Read it. And let it dwell in you. And your life will not be the same again. So the world will seek to mislead you, to misinterpret the situation, and so to misinform you. But you need the word that will be able to guide you. And when God speaks, he will give you the message that you need to hear. So that's the reason why you need to listen to him. But one of the things that you need to know is recognize who you are. And that's something very important. Recognize who you are. When you recognize who you are, it will help you to resist the devil. To refuse to listen to the wrong message. To rebuke whatever thing they are saying. So when you know who you are, you'll be able to resist the devil, and reject whatever other people, the wrong messages that are coming. Because definitely, because you're a very important person, the devil seeks to discourage you. Want you to doubt of who you are, of your position. So, you need to recognize who you are. You need to reject the wrong message and you need to remain connected to the maker. And one thing that will help you is read the word of God and remember the promise of God. So you need to read and remember the word of God. Recognize who you are and also reject the wrong voices. Know who you are. And wake up with that statement, I know who I am. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I am what God said I am. So you need to wake up with that statement, I am strong. Stop looking down on yourself. And that's something that you need to remember. Stop 
looking down on yourself because you are not what the world say you are. You are what the word of God say you are. You are, you are what God says you are. So stop looking down on yourself. Stop listening to the wrong message. Stop living in the past. It does not matter what you have done. We may have weaknesses, but don't live in the past. Let go the past and let Christ lead your life. And that one thing that you know, you need Christ in your life, in your plan, because he's the one who gives success. He's the one who guides in the way. He's the one who knows the way. He's the one who helps you to be able to reach your destination. So you need to stop looking at yourself. Stop looking down on yourself. And don't stop listening to the wrong message and living in the past. But you need to say, I am. I am capable. That need to be your statement. I am capable. I am created in his image. And because I'm created in the image of God, that need to help me to relax and rely on him and refuse to give up. Because I am created in the image of God. I am created to praise him, to please him, and to proclaim his goodness. That's something that you need to know. You have a mission. Your mission is to praise him. And the more you praise him, God is going to reveal to you great things. The more you praise him, God is going to speak to you, to show you, and God is going to do wonders, miracles. So you are created in his image. You are called and you are chosen. And that's something that you need to help you to relax and rely on God. May the Lord help you know who you are. It will help you to discern, to decide, and to defeat. And also, you need to trust God and thank him for who you are. Don't look down on yourself. Know you are a very, very important person. And praise him that, Lord, I know who I am. And recognize who you are in Christ, your position, your identity. Don't let anyone look down on you because of your past, because of your problem. Don't let anyone look down on you because of the past. No. Because of the, the, the thing you have gone through. No. But you need to learn to value yourself. And one of the things that you need to love yourself. Love yourself. Say, I know who I am. And if you don't love yourself, it will be hard for you to live a peaceful life. Don't doubt who you are. And don't look down on the great things that the Lord is doing in your life. You, know, you need to know that you are blessed. So recognize who you are. And remember, uh, read the word of God that will help you to know who you are. And reject and refuse and rebuke any other voices. And you need to remain strong. Wake up with the statement, I know who I am. I am strong. Work with that statement, I am strong. And when you walk up, wake and work with that statement, indeed you are going to win. May the Lord help you. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and get uh, my book, You Men Are Crying, Women Are Weeping, a great book that will help you in your marriage. And also this book, you have a bright future. Do not give up. Thank you so much. And also, Secret for the Singles, a great book on relationship. And this other book, Secret for Teen and Youth, a precious child, listen, and learn, and live. Thank you. Please partner with us as we seek to share a message of hope, harmony, and healing. My joy is to see you strong, stable, and successful. Remember, you are blessed.